What's up guys? Welcome to Section 8 Automotive and another episode of Gonzo's Garage. Today I got a 93 Dodge 350 with the Cummins 12 valve in it. Uh, the customer comes in complaining of the alternator or the voltage gauge is, is going high and uh, it's not reading quite right. What happens in these, the voltage regulator is in the PCM or the computer. And when it goes out, uh, you either have to replace the PCM or add an external voltage regulator on the uh, alternator itself and mount it to the firewall. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. While you're here, consider subscribing. Uh, it really does help out the channel and uh, let's get at it. I see all these videos of people doing it and giving you all these explanations and stuff you got to have. I'm going to list in the description below the, the one part that you need to make it work. And it's, it's just a voltage regulator from, from the from the part store and a fusible link and, and i'm gonna put all that in the description below it's got to be a key switch 12 volt and i'll show you where i mounted it and everything and how i wired it up straight to the alternator to control the voltage coming out of the alternator here is the voltage regulator i just mounted on the firewall here on the or inner fender well on the passenger side and uh there's a factory bolt hole i used a factory bolt and then a sheet metal screw right in here to to get a good ground all right, and quick and dirty. Look, it's got a green wire and a blue wire. Now we got the green wire. We're gonna trace the green wire, all right? The green wire is gonna go all the way to the bottom post as the alternator's mounted, all right? Easy enough. Take that, that factory stuff over here and just, just put it off to the side. You take these two wires, cut them, and isolate them. You don't need them anymore. And you can tape all this stuff back up, which I'm going to do. And I'll show you a picture of the final install. Blue wire. Trace the blue wire. Blue wire is going to come to the top post as the alternator is mounted. Now you can see another wire here. That is a 12 volt wire coming from a key switch 12 volt. All right. That is going to get your reference. All right. So I pulled down the fuse panel here under the dash just so I can get a good show of uh, what we got going on here. I got two that are key switch 12 volt that I found so far. One is this two amp fuse right here. Now, you don't want to use that because if you look, the wires on the back of that thing is it's really small. It's not going to carry a lot of current. You don't want to put the, the strain on that. Then I got this 30 amp AC heater circuit that is key switch 12 volt. It's a 30 amp. Now, that'd be a good spot to get your 12 volt reference from for your alternator. I'm going to put a fuse buddy in right there and then hook up that wire to the fuse buddy and that'll give me my 12 volt key switch 12 volt for the reference uh, going to the alternator all right so here we have it this is what i meant by a fuse buddy it plugs into the fuse port that i showed you about the ac and hvac or the ac and heater whatever it was uh, you take the 30 amp fuse and put it in the bottom slot that's what was originally in that that slot there and the kit comes with a uh, assortment of fuses. Take your biggest one, which would be the 10 amp, and plug it in the top spot, spot. Now that gives you 10 amps at 12 volts, key switch 12 volt back to the alternator on that top post like I showed you earlier. You know, work off the KISS method, you know, keep it simple, stupid. K-I-S-S. -S. 